It's not the news state lawmakers had hoped for. New projections from the Nonpartisan Legislative Analyst's Office, or LAO, conclude California tax revenues from the 2022-2023 fiscal year are expected to come in $26 billion less than previously anticipated. What's more, when looking at the bigger picture between 2022 and 2025, the report estimates state revenues over that time period are expected to come in $58 billion below projections. While the latest projection is new, it is not the first time this year state officials have anticipated revenues to come in short. But why? Officials say several factors are at play. Among them, a mixed economy. Because of that, California's top earners have made less, which in turn means less income tax revenue for the state. Also, due to an unprecedented delay in the tax deadline to mid-November due to last winter's record storms, state leaders say it's been tougher than usual to forecast revenues. But whatever the reason, in a statement, Democratic Assembly Speaker Robert Riva said, quote, California is more prepared than ever to navigate this latest challenge, and I remain committed to working with my Assembly, Senate, and administration colleagues on a 2024 budget that protects classroom funding and prioritizes support for core health care, safety net, and public safety programs. The statement going on to say Speaker Rivas is grateful we can rely on the state's record reserves, a reference to some $37 billion the state has stored away. No word from the governor about whether he wants to dip into any of the reserves, but Republicans argue whether that happens or not, the best, most responsible long-term solution, they say, is to crack down on spending. I would hope that we will um, be forced into uh, really addressing the issue of real uh, reductions in spending. Not a pleasant thing to do. But if we don't, it's going to be even worse. And keep in mind, the latest revenue projection is not the same thing as a budget deficit projection. We should expect to hear more on that topic from state officials later this week. Reporting at the state capitol, covering local news that matters, Eitan Wallace, Fox 40 News.